Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is singles action scheduled for one fall. It is a quarterfinal match in the 2016 PWX X16 Tournament. <laughs> Introducing first, from Waco, Texas, weighing in at 214 pounds, the Southern Savior, John Mixed reaction, but a lot of cheers for the and former And his opponent, from the Isle of Sheppey, Kent, England, weighing in at 14.1 stone, Zach Saber Jr. Oh, Brad, right there. There goes the man, international superstar, Zach Saber Jr. We are eating good today, Tommy Thomas. Eight of the finest wrestlers on this planet have advanced to round number two. And at the end of the night, someone will have won three matches against world-class competition to hoist that X-16 trophy above his head. And John Schuyler is not screwing around. He refused to shake Zack Sabre Jr.'s hand. Such a sign of disrespect. I like it, Schuyler. Skyler backing Sabre into the corner. This is actually a matchup that our longtime PWX fans will recognize was scheduled several months back. Sabre suffered an injury, and the matchup could never take place. John Skyler has waited a long, long time to finally get to step in against Zack Sabre Jr., the technical wizard. And the former world champion looking a little tentative there. He knows that he cannot get caught in the clutches of Zack Sabre Jr. or he could easily be submitted. That's no knock on John Schuyler, one of the best wrestlers in the world. But Zack Sabre is just that good on the mat, Tommy. Well, absolutely. You are correct. But you're talking about the bruiser weight. You're talking about the man that is Mr. NXT, as he has said himself. John Schuyler, the southern savior. The man knows how to win fights. Yes, he does. Plain and simple. He was one of the longest reigning PWX champions, a two-time PWX champion, might I add. John Schuyler is no slouch in that ring. And Schuyler, once again, you see him creating space, creating distance between himself and Saber. I got to believe that's smart. Saber, the master of the arm bar, will lock in on that arm like a Rottweiler gnawing on a bone. And that is one place that Skyler does not want to be. That's very specific. Mm -hmm. That was very, very specific and graphically detailed. Back to the action in the ring. Right now. See, if Skyler was smart right now, he would not want to be in this ground game situation against Zack Sabre Jr. You were right earlier. He needs to create space. As much of a good move as that is right now, Zack Sabre Jr. does a counter to almost every single hold in professional wrestling today. But as does John Skyler. You know, we talked last night during round one about who some of the pound for pound best wrestlers in this tournament are. And John Skyler is right up there. He can wrestle, he can brawl, he can fly, he can do it all. On the ground though, Zack Sabre Jr. is gonna have the advantage, just a fact of life. Absolutely. Now, John Schuyler is known for his psychology, getting into the heads of his opponents. Do you think Sabre, being, being the crafty veteran that he is, the international superstar that he is, will, let, will he let that affect him tonight? Uh, you know, it's tough to say. I'm gonna say, tentatively, I'm gonna say no. I'm going to say that I think Zack Sabre has got enough experience against the best, most elite wrestlers in the world. Uh, I dare say that I don't think he's going to be phased by the mind games of the Southern Savior. Skyler caught in the backslide. Shoulders are down, and Skyler seeks refuge on the outside. He looks very frustrated. Hey, that, that is a smart move by John Skyler, though. Right now, he's taking a little bit of a breather. He's getting some distance between him and Zack Sabre Jr. So I give all the credit in the world to Skyler for being smart and getting away from Zack Sabre Jr. Skyler very tentative. He knows he has got to wrestle three matches tonight and win them all. 
if he wants to leave the X-16 tournament champion. Skyler has dropped a little weight. He's cut, I think, 5, 10, maybe even 15 pounds. He's leaner. He knows he's got to anticipate wrestling multiple times. Skyler. And showing that he can, he can wrestle on the ground as well. Perfect positioning right there. Saber has got the reach advantage. He's got those long arms and long legs, but Saber did not go to the ropes. He just broke the hold and turned it into one of his own. Oh, look at the pain on the face of Skyler. This is a bad position for John Skyler to be in. Skyler, do whatever you gotta do. Whoa, the old Muda lock. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, the neck of the Southern Savior being bent back awkwardly, the neck and back. This is. Oh, this is not good for, if he wants to have a long, illustrious career, smart move getting out of that holder. I guess Zack Sabre Jr. breaking the hold. Yes, Sabre simply let him out. Sabre perhaps playing mind games with the Southern Savior, saying, hey, I got you right where I want you. I'll just let you out of that hold. Skyler, known for his mind games, it has been said that John Skyler has a God complex and that in that squared circle is his cathedral. That's his land that he reigns over. He literally calls himself the Southern Savior. Absolutely. He clearly has a God complex. Skyler. Hey, but when you're that good, oh, yeah. I guess you can have that. The man who took the PWX championship, traveled internationally, defended the title internationally. He is the man, John Skyler, who made the PWX title into the PWX world title. Oh. But Saber has got him down. Oh, such a smart move by Saber. That was an incredibly smart move. And Skyler is in a very, very bad predicament. Oh. Oh, come on, ref. Get in there. That arm is being brutalized and bent awkwardly. How do we even know that all of his holds are legal? How do we even know that? I would assume referee Kevin Pierce would know that. I mean, it's kind of his job. He could have some sort of foreign move that we don't know about because it's from overseas. Hey, Donald Trump is Hey, no politics tonight, Tommy. Scooping a slam, drops the elbow, down into the face, only gets about one and a half. I'm just saying, I'm sick of seeing all these illegal British citizens come oh! up over here and harming great American wrestlers such as John Skyler. Sinton Skyler, even having leaned out some for this tournament, Skyler still has got a stocky frame. And man, he dropped all that weight down on the sternum of Zack Sabre Jr. Once again, this is basically at this point an eight-man tournament. We saw round number one, all eight first round matches last night. Someone will have to win three matches in one night today to leave as the X-16 tournament champion. We will see four second round matches, two semifinals, the finals, plus bonus matches, another huge sit time. I think Skyler should go for the cover here. He's wasting a little bit of time. I want to thank all of our first time viewers tuning in on Flow Slam, hashtag PWX, Hashtag X16 and hashtag PWX on Flow Slam. What, what are these insipid idiots chanting? They're chanting not USA, they're chanting ZSJ. They're cheering against our great country. What jerks. Oh, headbutt right to the belt line. Not a low blow, but will knock the wind out of you. Skyler returns the favor. Also want to send a special shout out to our friends at the Most Valuable Kids Charity of Charlotte. We have several of the Most Valuable Kids here in attendance with us at the X-16. Same organization that partners with the Charlotte Hornets here in town. And they are now partnering with PWX to bring, oh, hold on. Oh, caught him, caught him in the arm bar, caught him in the arm bar. Skyler, Skyler trying to navigate the shoulders down. He got him. Oh, took a second to get the shoulders down, and that extra second may have cost him. Great awareness by referee Kevin Pierce, knowing that the shoulders were not completely pinned to the mat. Two, only two. That's got to make you feel good, though, Tommy, knowing underprivileged and at-risk children are here enjoying the matches this afternoon. Well, you know, if they were really that valuable, someone would already have them, right? Wow. Stomping on the hand. Wow. 
Skyler again. Skyler has used his head and shoulder tackles, those shoulder blocks and headbutts into the sternum. Skyler has used them very effectively throughout this contest. And once again, Skyler has waited months and months to finally get this showdown with Sabre. It was supposed to be a world title match. Shoulders down, up and over, shoulders down, almost got him. It was supposed to be a world title match. I believe it was back in April. Oh. It never happened. Skyler is going to win it right here. You've got to think the former world champion is looking to redeem himself here after missing that opportunity to defend the title against one of the best on the planet. Well, I was wondering about that, Brad. You've been in this business quite a long time, so you would know this. Does this change Skyler's way of thinking, knowing that since it's not a title match, he has to win by pinfall, countout, or submission. He knows that he has to win that way. So does that change his game plan for taking on Zack Sabre Jr.? I think so. I think he's got a, you know, like you said, a champion has got that position where he can kind of play for the draw. No draws in this tournament. A draw creates a bye. Mm, for someone else, you have to play to win in this tournament format. Ooh, kick the arm! Working that arm more and more. Uh, just drilled if, him. If Skyler wins, what condition is this arm going to be in for the next round? Saber charging in. Oh. Those are some of the hardest Europeans I've ever seen. Kicked him right in the mush. Oh, he kicked the arm again. That arm is being tortured by Saber. This lariat. Took Saber out. Skyler has been using the pedigree in recent months. A shout out to perhaps his future employer. All oh, hail, no, it's the Tiger Driver. Shoulders down, no. Oh, wait, did you see that switch though? Did you see that switch though? Right into the regal stretch. John Skyler has clearly been mentored by some of the absolute finest wrestlers in our profession, and he has soaked up that knowledge here. Right. Skyler is a very, very smart man. Like this. That was a smart move, but and he's not so smart anymore. He got the arm again. That, that, oh. And yes, fans, you're correct. This is awesome. This is night two of the PWX X16 tournament. Hashtag PWX, hashtag X16, live here on FlowSlam.tv. At Stutzy, S-T-U-T-T-S-Y. And, well, if we're plugging, at the Tommy Thomas, Twitter and on Instagram. Saber working his way up on the rope. Saber using the ropes to get up. Saber cannot stand under his own power right now at this moment in the matchup. That is crucial. That is big, big news. Zack Saber Jr. is using the ropes to hold himself up. Oh God! Are we just gonna? Are we just, oh God! Did he hit him in the ear? Oh! I guess so. Saber <laughs> talked some smack and laid right into Skyler. Uh, this this is probably not getting well for you, Saber. Skyler hits just as hard, if not harder, than the rest of them. This is like an old gentleman's duel from years and years and years ago from a bygone era. These two are just saying, take your best shot at me. So basically when you were in your 30s. Yeah. And Skyler using that headbutt very effectively. Skyler catches himself on the apron. Skyler has used that slingshot spear to perfection. Woo, didn't get it on that one. Did oh. not get it on that one. Auto. I think he might have knocked a tooth out of his head. There it is! Wait, oh no, he caught the arm! He caught the arm! Saber caught the arm! Skyler is trapped! Skyler is trapped! Skyler is trapped in the center of the ring! Oh, oh God! And he gave it up! He gave it up! John Skyler had to give it up! to take on John Skyler one more time. Skyler was trapped. There was no way out. And he had to give it up. Zach Sabre Jr. advances. John Skyler looking dejected in the ring. 
And there has been a lot of talk, Tommy Thomas, about the relationship between John Schuyler and Corey Hollis. Will that team continue? Are they on opposite sides of the fence right now? A big standing ovation for John Schuyler here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Schuyler soaking in the cheers gives a salute to these great fans in Charlotte. We understand that.